Hi guys, welcome to my lockdown tips part four. Now I've had a few messages over the last couple of weeks talking about hair rigs. So today I'm going to show you an easy way to tie your own hair rigs. Now lots of manufacturers make perfect ready tied hook lengths with bands and bayonets and rapid stops on. But sometimes you quite often get a lovely hook pattern that manufacturers don't actually produce hook lengths in that pattern. And for me, I love the new KKH and the KKHBs from Preston. But unfortunately, we don't do them on the MagStore system yet. So I'm going to show you an easy way to tie your hook lengths by hand. Today, I'm going to be using the knotless knot. Now, that's derived from the carp anglers from many years ago. But the most important thing when you're tying a knot that's not to remember is that they need to have an outturned eye on the hook just so you can get it to sit nicely and sit straight when you've tied your hook. So first things first, get your line and slide your latex band onto your line. Now put that line quite a way through. If you're trying to tie a knot, it's very difficult if you've got a short tag the other end. So there we go. So that band is now on the piece of line. So what I'm just going to do is a simple knot around my finger and slide that band back through. So that's where we are, ready to be tightened. Now, when you pull that knot, you need to make sure that knot and that loop is as small as it can possibly be. So if you just pinch the band and the knot in both your thumb and your first finger and pull that tight so there we go so that's going to create a little tiny loop now now this is really important that when you use a pulling tool to tighten that knot don't put it through the band it needs to go through the loop so put it through the loop and pull it tight so you're left with the loop and your latex band, like so. Now the next stage is to take your piece of line with the loop on and just cut that off. Now don't cut it too tight. Leave it two or three mil from your knot. Now this next stage is totally down to the individual. You don't have to do this, but I like to put a little bit of silicone on the shaft of my hook. So I'm just going to cut a tiny piece of 0.3 of a millimetre silicone, pole silicone, so I can slide that onto my hook. Now, now I've cut that piece of silicone, the next stage, before I put my hook on, is to slide that piece of silicone onto my line. That's if my eyes allow me to. Oh, look at that, first go. Oh, must be my lucky day. So now I'm now left with the loop with the band and a piece of 0.3 of a millimetre silicon on my line. So the next stage now is to thread your hook through the silicon. But you've got to make sure that when you put that your hook through that piece of silicon, that your band is at the bottom. So all you need to do is what I do is I just create that so I can that's clear so that's in a loop like that and I grab my hook and come down through the silicon like so there we go so as now when I come pull that down, the band down towards the hook, it's facing down the shank. Now the next stage is to just slide your line just down till you reach the knot. And I don't know if you can see that. The silicon tubing is in line with the points of the hook. So now what we're going to do now, we're just going to grab that and we're going to go through the back of the eye. So we're left 
with the band, the loop, the piece of silicon and the line from the silicon going straight through the back of the eye. Now the next stage is to create the knotless knot. So if we just take the bend of the hook and hold it between the thumb and your forefinger, like so, and we have to wrap the line up the shank of the hook. So just create a little loop and get it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold that line tight with your other fingers and go back through the back of the, the eye of the hook, like so. Pull that tight, and that is a knotless knot. So there we go guys, just to finish off, I'm gonna take my hook, get my rig puller, and there we go, pull that nice and tight. There you have a hair rig, with the band, the loop, piece of silicon to keep it nice and straight, and a knotless knot on the end. Now it's exactly the same process whether you're using a rapid stop, a bayonet, or a band. It's all exactly the same. Practice makes perfect. You might find it a little bit difficult at first, but once you get in the hang of it, you can tie them really, really quickly. So that's it, guys. That's the way I tie my own hair rigs. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the bank sometime.